Hello, everybody. It's Kate Carpenter, Director of Hospital Services at the Iowa Healthcare Collaborative with the Compass 10. Uh, today, we wanted to share some exciting uh, news. We have made some um, enhancements to the current HIN reporting database where you go in to report your data every month. As you all know, there's some uh, reporting functions located within the database, uh, your run charts and things of that nature, goal reports. But we've made some enhancements specifically to the Compass HIN dashboard. And the purpose of this recording is to short, sort of highlight some of the key changes that we've made and why we've made them. These changes have been made active as of March 6th. The reason that we really uh, decided to invest in these changes is in response to hospital feedback. We know um, as the HIN program has progressed the past few years, uh, you guys are using your data in, in more advanced ways and relying on our database so that you can utilize uh, the data that you collect and report every month um, for uh, performance improvement. So what we've done is made some enhancements enhancements to the existing HIN dashboard and also uh, created a brand new dashboard where you can customize some of the reporting for your hospital. So we hope these enhancements will make the reports easier to understand, they'll be clearer, they better describe the data that's being displayed within them, and hopefully with all that in mind, they'll make these reports easier for you to use and share um, with your different performance improvement teams and your hospital leadership. Uh, the purpose uh, for the new hospital custom database is to allow hospitals to create a dashboard report that reflects their specific organization's improvement goals within the Compass 10 um, measurement areas. So the first thing you need to do uh, to take a look at these new enhancements, of course, is to log into the Compass 10 reporting database. As you know, you can access that through IHC's webpage. Um, if you're a new user listening to this, um, there is a um, new user registration function in the blue right below the sign-in bar. Um, if you'd like to request access to your hospital's page on the Compass 10 reporting database, please do fill out that new user registration. Uh, our team will approve your request and you'll receive a confirmation email back uh, with a link to begin logging into the database. Once you log in, as you all know, it lands you on a screen called Open Month Management, where you can see down the middle uh, the months that are currently open for reporting. Along the right-hand side, right below the first blue box that says Instructions, right up top, you'll see the second uh, blue box that contains the Compass Pin Report. As you know, your work plan is found there, run charts and goal report, um, but the two functions that we're going to be reviewing today are the HIN dashboard, which was the dashboard that uh, previously existed, and a brand new function um, called the Hospital Custom Dashboard. So with that, I'm going to pull over uh, the live database at this point and sort of walk you through uh, what you're going to see when you log in here. So just like you did before, you'll be able to go through and select focus areas that you'd like to show up in the dashboard. You can check specific measures you'd like it to pull or simply check all and it will automatically pull any um, reporting for those measures that your hospital has available. You'll then be able to go over here to months, use the drop down, and select the specific performance time period that you'd like it to pull the data for. So I'll just select a quarter four of 2018 for this example. Then you'll click on to the red uh, generate report button. Uh, while it processes that, and you can see that it's doing that at the top uh, bar there with the circle spinning, you'll be able to notice 
working on just a second. I've accidentally X'd out of there. I'm just going to pull it back up as it builds. The more data you ask it to pull, the longer it will take to build a report. As that builds, we'll talk about some of uh, the areas that you might notice that are new. We have added a few columns. We've added a focus area column, a data source column, a numerator and denominator column, a multiplier column, baseline and baseline rate columns. Just gonna pull it up on my second screen here. Oh, there it goes. Might have been tucked down below. So as it uh, pops up, you'll see that it does run the dashboard. And again, as I'd mentioned previously, this focus area column is new. You'll continue to see your measure name. There's been an added column for the data source. You can see the measures that I selected are self-reported. The improvement uh, Percentage column still remains, but replacing what used to be the stars, there are arrows that correlate with the legend below if you've met uh, the Compass 10 improvement goal or not. We've also added a column so you can really see um, how many cases are showing up in the numerator and the denominator for the time frame that you've pulled. And as you know, that time frame in the bottom left hand corner always shows in your report. So if you're thinking, oh, gosh, I can't remember, did I, did I pull this for quarter four or quarter three, you can always reference down below. So see, we've added a column for the multiplier so you can see what applies to the measure um, that you're evaluating along with the baseline period that we're using to calculate performance improvement. Um, those baseline periods do vary uh, just a bit by measure in accordance with our CMS um, contract and guidelines. Where applicable, if your facility had uh, data within the baseline period, it will demonstrate or display uh, your facility's baseline rate for the measure selected. Um, you'll continue to see your facility rate in this column along with your peer average, which as a reminder is, is like size hospitals uh, performance rate for the same measure for the same time period. And then also the HIN average, which um, includes all of the hospitals we have actively reporting for this measure during the time frame you pulled. Um, and that would include hospitals of all sizes in our network. Um, currently, we have a hospitals um, participating in the Compass 10 from the states of Iowa, South Dakota, and Illinois. Finally, we still do have the facility trend line. So this is just going to show you kind of a reflection of what you might see if you pulled your run chart for a particular measure. So I know that I have pulled three months of data. Um, for this particular dashboard, October, November, and December 2018. So I can see here is my October data point, in the middle is my November data point, and finally December. And there would be more there, of course, if I had um, pulled six months of data per se. But I would know, um, gosh, my improvement had dropped during this time frame. It looks like it may have been in November when we saw a spike. Um, down at the bottom, we still have um, the facility value estimates included in the dashboard function, but we have further organized them to include um, by focus area. These will be um, organized. We'll also show you the events you avoided or incurred and the cost associated with those events, uh, access length of stay, and also mortality. Uh, and uses the literature estimates to calculate those values. At the bottom, you'll notice the legend is still there that um, uses a color indicator to um, demonstrate within the HIN improvement column if you've met the Compass HIN goals. These programmatic goals are set by CMS and include a 20% reduction in all-cause harm and a 12% reduction and all-cause readmissions. 
So in a example, um, adverse drug event rate, because that's a harm area, we're wanting to achieve a, a performance improvement goal of 20%. Um, if this would be a positive value of 20 or higher, you would see it turn green. Because performance improvement um, has worsened since the baseline period, you're seeing it red, indicating no improvement, and the downward arrow is associated uh, with the red signal. Finally, at the bottom, you'll notice a, a new feature called the dashboard glossary. Um, this just uh, simply defines some of the terminology used within the report so that if you've printed these and shared them with other members of your team, perhaps less familiar with the Compass 10 or with data interpretation in general, this would aid them in interpreting the data that they're seeing. I'm going to minimize this now and navigate back to the database to show you um, the new report that we've built for custom, um, custom reporting. So again, if you've logged into the Compass 10 database, scroll down to Compass 10 reports, this new functionality is located directly below the HIN dashboard. It's called the Hospital Custom Dashboard. If you select that option, a box will populate similar to what you're used to, where you will be allowed to select a certain focus area. We'll choose a couple different ones, maybe some claims-based measures. Be allowed to select measures that you'd like included in the dashboard, and then again, select months you'd like um, it to pull from. This is where the enhancement features begin. Um, for Compass HIN, your baseline periods are dictated for you. In this function, you'll be able to select a baseline start and end date. This could be really helpful, for instance, if you're setting organizational quality goals for the year and you decide um, you would like to set a 5% improvement goal in a couple of core focus areas. Maybe you, you would like to improve readmission rates by 2% in 2019 as compared to your 2017 baseline. So for this example, I'm just going to pull, um, I think what I'll do is I'll pull 2017 as a baseline period. So I've selected January of 2017. I'll go ahead and pull through December. So I have a full calendar year for my baseline period. And I'm going to compare that against quarter four of 2018. In the bottom field, you'll be able to select a performance goal. So I might say, I would like to see a 3% reduction. You can type in the number three and click generate report. And see that it's pulling. And I might have to pull it off to my other screen so I can see when it um, pops up here for us. It looks like it's there. Put back across. And so see here you can um, see what measures or what data I had available from the metrics that I selected for quarter four of 2018. You can see here um, that based on the custom baseline that I had set, which is calendar year 2017, during which time my rate was 72.90. And my facility uh, rate was 11.25 during uh, this time frame pulled. It calculated um, at 100, per, 100 multiplier an improvement rate of 84.57. And you can see the facility trend line um, drawn out to the right. This then correlates with the legend. So it, instead of saying improvement goal of 20% for harm or 12% for readmission, it has now set the improvement goal to 3% as you'd asked. Again, these uh, color legends are associated with that 3%. So because 84.57 is above, much above the 3% goal, 
your color is green. Had your improvement um, been 1%, it would show yellow because you're um, maintaining or showing progress towards your 3% reduction goal. Perhaps you'd had a negative improvement during the performance period you pulled, again, October through December of 2018. Maybe it was negative 20%, and in that case, it would show red, no improvement during the performance period pulled. We really hope that these new enhancements and new reporting function will aid you in your hospital improvement work. We really look forward to hearing uh, your feedback on these new functionalities. Certainly, if you have any questions at all, we would encourage you to reach out to your clinical quality consultant or myself at Carpenter, K at IHGonline.org. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.